Hey, Chris Parks here. Just want to give you a real quick update on what forbearance is going to be doing to your uh, loans and as far as how you're going to be seen by the underwriting companies as you're going forward based off of your uh, forbearance on the loan. Here's the reason why I'm bringing this up. There are people who are taking advantage of forbearance on their loans, whether it's their mortgage or their car or their credit cards or other things like that that don't necessarily need forbearance. And so the credit companies are trying to report this kind of information so that people can see when they're making a credit decision on your ability to repay the loan for the mortgage or the refinance, that we're able to understand whether you have the ability to make this work or if you're gonna have a pattern of not being able to make things happen. So I'm gonna share a screen real quick so you can kind of see what it is that, that uh, is gonna be shared by Equifax, TransUnion, and, um, Experian. You can see right here that they're going to, this is a, this is a screenshot that I took out of a credit report recently. And you can see here that on the left-hand column over there on the left-hand side, you're going to see whose it is. In this case, you can see the B for borrower, the C for co-borrower. And each one of these are going to be playing into who can get the, uh, who is getting this. The value all the way over to the other side is related to if they have taken advantage of uh, the deferment on it. And you can see down there in the parentheses down at the end where it says the CARES Act, uh, this is something that is gonna refer specifically back to that because they know it's not gonna affect your credit points, but it is going to affect the possibility for underwriting later because it's one of those risk factors that's taken into account. This is done through Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. This is something that's gonna be shown up nationally. So I just wanna make sure you see this as you're going through this and making a decision because not in every case is it worth your time to go forward and to try to make a decision on whether you need to go and, and do this unless it's an urgent need. So if you're deferring your payments or you're furloughing your payments for six to 12 months on something like this, just for the fun and not having to make any payments, it is going to affect your ability to purchase in the future. It may not necessarily affect you immediately, but it is gonna be something that underwriters are gonna look at very carefully as you go forward. Anyway, this is Chris Parks. I hope all's well. Uh, if I can be of any assistance, don't hesitate to give me a call. Thank you.